Well, there must be something going on right now. Uh, Apple stock hit and out of all time highs once again. And news, the latest thing could be a number of next big things. The company reportedly planning now an iPad with a 12.9 inch screen for next year. But tech site Recode is reporting an iWatch is finally coming this year. Now that's on top of the new iPhones that are supposed to be out later. I said 4.7 inches, 5. What is it? 4.7, 5. Yeah, to that. Yeah. They're big. Uh, back with our all stars, Liz and Mark and Scott. Uh, Mark, I, I think either is going to move this ball here. Well, in June, people watched an average of an hour and 23 minutes of video on their smartphones. Is that right? On this, oh. okay. So if you're Over watching the course it on this, of what? Just in that month. And that's in a month, on average, an hour and 23 minutes per smartphone user. So if you're watching video content that much in a month on this or on a laptop, you know, on the, on the tablet, then Apple's gonna have to cut into these segments. They had, they obviously created the tablet market and they lost 30% of market share in one year between 2012 and 2013. In just the tablet market or beyond? In just the tablet segment. Okay. And so they've got to fight back. They've got to get back into that game. Wouldn't they the cannibalize way... themselves all this? Yeah, you would mm -hmm. think so. Maybe. You know, uh, the, the iPad sales, you know, Walt Mossberg, the analyst said, for the Wall Street Journal said they've been crashing, but this is such a big pad, it really will crash if you drop it on the ground. And so, you know, you like gotta, the smaller ones won't. Like, well, they, both, they all will. Right. But, you know, the, the, getting back to the. Because every time I, I drop one, it shatters into a million All the pieces. time, oh, the yeah. screen shatters, it's yeah. annoying. If they name it iTime, the, getting back to the right. iWatch, if they name right. it iTime, come on. And they got to make it look really hot and luxurious, not a Fig Newton on your wrist. And yeah, they, it's going to have all sorts of gizmos too. It's going to be really cool. But that's the thing. What are you going to get for that $1,000 handle on that iTime watch? They have to get into watch. new segments of markets and they have to get into new devices altogether. Yeah. Okay. Well, guys, tablet, though, the, the tablet market, guys, is becoming a lost leader. I mean, if you look at Apple earnings in the last several quarters, tablets have been a major disappointment. So, Size does matter here, and I think smaller is actually better. It's curious as to why they're going to make a bigger one. I'm just wondering where this all goes. I should disclose, by the way, I'm an, I'm an Apple shareholder. I have no vested interest here, although I could say, go, baby, go. But, but what I'm wondering, Scott, is, is whether they, they go from having very few, if any, announcements, at least any new big announcements, to just like a July 4th end of the fireworks, just explosion of them, and they don't really do themselves any good. What do you think? That might be true. Now, the one thing they have going for them, Neil, of late is Apple is cool again. And to your point, the stock is as well. A lot of people hold it. So however they deliver this message, I think the reality is their products are going to get sold and a lot of young people are still buying them. Would you, based on just what you're hearing of all these new devices, the iWatch or what, 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 iTime? Is that I, they're going to call it iTime, I think. Yeah. Right. Um, the I think I cool it, by the way. Uh, but, but you... you <laughs> You think that any one of these could, could do the trick for the company? Well, sure, because you've got devoted, loyal supporters of the iOS platform, and that's what they're looking for in different variations. But isn't that about a Samsung, if you're holding up an iPhone there and they've acknowledged that a bigger yeah. screen, I think, Mike, we have a, a shot of, of, of the phone. Of the, the phone yeah. that could be out of the size of that could be out. There, there, are, there are certainly less and less differences over time, and they've got to find a way to distinguish themselves. But if you take a look at it from well, a... Copying someone else on the size isn't the way to do it. But they've got to tap into these segments. They have to compete right. for these segments. All right, Lizzie, I want to get to you on this yeah, sure. because a different sort of a high-tech item. This is the Republican Party uh, looking uh, to win the Senate, but with a video game, Republicans are releasing Mission Majority. It's an online game featuring an elephant trying to win back the Senate by smashing through red tape regulations and taxes. It looks beyond stupid to me. I think it's hilarious. I think really? it's really funny. It's for the 20-somethings. The learning curve is pretty steep. For the millennial generation who doesn't understand what the government does. Now, this does is coming from a woman who wrote like 8,000 pages on an obscure saint. <laughs> so right. you're a little too serious <laughs> from my point. Right. Yeah. Well, you, I think, you find this I funny. I think it's funny. I think it's good. The, the, and I think it's smart. They're going to grab the names and email addresses uh, when you log on, meaning the, the GOP, the Republicans, will grab your name. You only, can only play if you offer up personal uh, names and email addresses. Who is this attracting, though? Scott? The millennials. Okay. Scott. Uh, I, I don't know about that, though, guys. I mean, this is an 8-bit game that's like a cheap 
knockoff version of the Smurf game from ColecoVision, one of my all-time favorites, by the way. Neil, they missed the mark on this, though. You could have had Halo, Grand Theft Auto, Warcraft. What about Madden football? Could you imagine you. putting Hillary Thank Clinton you. at quarterback? You're right. You're right. Uh, yeah. Chris Christie at fullback, uh, Paul Ryan at tight end? That's how you get the votes. That's the leap the Republicans need to make to get back in this thing. Yeah, Joan of Arc just didn't get that one. Well, at least they're trying. Yeah. At least they're trying because young people are disgruntled in this economy, and they use gaming a lot. This is Amazon one. And further, if you know, that person, I know, but Amazon do they really want that person? Just, just announced they're paying a billion dollars for Twitch. So gaming at this for these millennials is huge. This, I know, this is sort of a silly Pong game, and they can do better with it. Perhaps but maybe... But this isn't an ant, right? Let's see, it's, it's a, just... It's a game. It's to capture yeah. their data and information. Yeah, that's right. And so okay. it's just a small Did element you know of their strategy. know from that, though, that this is the message, a subtle message? No, you wouldn't, because you have to go through the stages of it. Right, sure. so it's tax destroying job destroyers, is level whatever. You have to keep playing to understand what the game is. They would be better off releasing a new line of golf gear and, like, golf balls with President Obama's face on it. No, that gives the impression that's it, there, right? the great Poupon you know, and, golfing and sell golf balls with the All president right. on it. Well, there you go. Uh, all right, I'll leave it here. Uh, 